How is it going, viewers? This, if things have worked out right, is going to be the second video of 2021. Now, if you noticed, I was a little aggressive in posting videos in December. And the reason for that is I had a lot of videos processed and ready. And if I followed my standard schedule, I wouldn't be able to get to where I wanted to be, in a sense, with my video posting. And I wanted to get the two flight school videos posted back to back at the end of the year and at the start of the new year. And there is just a reason for it as far as scheduling goes. But if you recall, once CJ passes all the flight school tests, he gets a call from Woozy. And Woozy is in Las Venturas, which is the GTA San Andreas equivalent of Las Vegas. Now, I love Las Vegas. Um, a couple years back, I posted a video on YouTube doing a kind of walkthrough tour of a hotel suite I stayed in. I don't know if I'll have a link up, but that's fine. Um, this video is just going to be kind of fun. I'm not going to actually go to Woozy's Casino because it will activate a mission. What I will do is just kind of drive around Las Venturas a little bit on a mini bike and kind of do a little tour and point some things out and buy some property. So let's get on with the fun video and I hope you enjoy it. If not, well, I apologize, but I'm giving it a shot. Hello? Carl, it's Woozy. Hey, Woozy, man. What you been up to? Come along and see for yourself. I got a little business proposition for you. Come over and see the setup, my friend. Okay, for sure. I like that. Like it? You're gonna love it! It's the Four Dragons Casino in Las Venturas. I'll see you soon, yeah? Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, the bike is totally unreliable, and I don't have a vehicle in the garage. So CJ is going to have to run up to the road and jack a vehicle. Once CJ jacks the vehicle, I'm going to bring him to Las Venturas. I might fast forward a little bit through some things, but once um, CJ gets the vehicle and is riding again, I'm going to bring him to Las Venturas, and here we go. We got a mini bike. Boom, take the guy down and let's get going. Where else should we begin in Las Venturas but at the Welcome to Las Venturas sign, which is a representation of the Welcome to Las Vegas sign. And if you go out to Las Vegas, I do recommend you go see the sign. It used to just be in the middle of the strip, further south of Madley Bay, but now they've kind of made it like a nice little park. I mean, GTA San Andreas came out in 2004, and a lot has changed in 16 years in Las Vegas. So a lot of stuff that is in this video doesn't exist anymore. And so once CJ gets onto the strip of this fake town, some of the stuff is a decent representation. But again, some of the things no longer exist or have been renamed, rebranded, etc. This tower you see on the left represents um, a casino called Fitzgerald's in downtown. Las Vegas, that one, that still exists. Fitzgerald 
I think still exist. If not, correct me. I haven't paid attention too much. But then coming down this street, you see in front the visage, which is a representation of the Mirage. And I've stayed at the Mirage. It is really very nice. And actually one of my favorite casinos to gamble in. Unfortunately, you can't enter any of these casinos. I believe there's only one casino besides Woozy's Casino that CJ can enter to gamble in. And that's kind of sad. I mean, I would have liked to have seen more casinos open. But what GTA San Andreas does is if you ride over, there's the Clown's Pocket, which is a representation of Circus Circus. You can purchase a suite in the clown's pocket. And once I get CJ around here, I'm going to bring him down a little bit further here. And, oh, there's really nothing. Spin him around. And we're going to go to the clown pocket and, or clown's pocket. Yeah, they've got walls up all over the place. That is exactly what Las Vegas is like. They've got all kinds of little walls everywhere which are a pain in the ass to navigate. But once you come up, you can purchase property. And what you're actually doing is purchasing a suite in the property. And you can save along the lines the clown pocket, Clown's Pocket Casino. You can enter into the hotel suite and, again, this is a little disappointing because every hotel suite you buy is the exact same. Um, they basically cut and paste the same hotel suite for every hotel. And it would have been nice if they would have maybe made the decor in each suite look like the um, kind of representing the interior or exterior of the hotel casino. because. If you go to Las Vegas, the suites are all different, but they do tend to blend in the theme of the hotel. Like Caesar's Palace is a little more like Caesar's Palace. Um, this is the men in pants or pirate pants or whatever. This is the representation of Treasure Island. And Pirates in Men's Pants. You can buy a suite here. Um, Treasure Island, if you go into their hotel rooms and the suites, they are all kind of themed like the exterior. They match. They blend. It's a branding thing. And I'm not going to go into this hotel suite, but I'm going to bring CJ over to the hotel across the street or Casino, which is, I believe, Caliglia's, which is a representation of Caesar's Palace. And this is one of the only casinos that C CJ can enter and do some gambling. And this takes place, and actually, it's part of the whole story mission. Now, go into the casino, and once you take a look inside... It's eh, not really a good representation, and it's kind of decent looking. They wasted a lot of space in this entry. They could have brought the casino further up closer, and, you know, I mean, it, it just is a lot of waste of space. But they have table games, slot machines, and, yeah. You can play these for a couple bucks. There's a bar over there, which again is kind of a waste of space. You can't use the bar. You can't gamble at the bar. And there's other things around. This all feels like it's trying to be spacious, but it's just a waste of space. Casinos are jam-packed with machines and table games, or used to be, because because of uh, things now, they might have spread out. But this is the High Limits Video Poker. I'm going to give it a shot here. Ooh, 5,000. 
and I can't get it reduced. So I'm going to bet the 5000 and see if I can deal here. Um going to deal. I got two sixes. Low pair, counterintuitive, but I'm going to hold those in hopes to get three of a kind or a full house or something and deal and nothing. Well, I lost 5000 bucks. This sucks. So I'm going to exit and get the hell out of here and get back to riding the mini bike around Las Venturas. Again, this entry area, just a huge waste of space and could have been better designed, but I'm not really, I really don't care. It's kind of neat to have gambling in the game. So now that CJ is back on his Sanchez, we're going to head out and do some riding here down the main strip to the next casino, hotel, etc. And that is this over here on the right is the representation of Bally's, which again, it's totally different now and it's been remodeled a lot. They got rid of this escalator stuff and it now has a like little market area where people can shop and have some socializing. Now over here is Camel Toe, which is a representation of Luxor. And CJ can buy a suite at the Camel Toe. And once I buy it, I'm going to enter in and show you that, yeah, the hotel suite is no different than the other suite purchased at Clown's Pocket. It's the same damn suite. There could have been a little more thought put into this detail. And, I mean, it just is a little kind of chintzy, but I'm sure maybe if they bring back Las Venturas in a modern system, they might do a little better design on it. So down the road, or just across the road, is the um, come a lot, which is a representation of Excalibur. Yeah, um, Luxor and Excalibur are right next to each other. And then right across the street here is the Four Dragons, which is where Woozy is located. And CJ can actually save right in front of the Four Dragons. And there's some other missions in the future, which I'm going to record and point out that will help CJ out. The Four Dragons is actually based on the Imperial Palace, which no longer exists, ammunition here, and go through the parking lot. But the Imperial Palace has been remodeled and rebranded and called The Link, or whatever. And it's actually really nice. I'd recommend you go there. The casino is nice and I haven't stayed in it but it's cheap and then they have the Ferris wheel it's really kind of cool and here's Trans Fender which if I want to remodel the Sanchez here but I'm now going to try and find they have a hard rock themed casino which is called the V-Rock which I'm looking for and ooh strippers Eh, whatever. It's just pixels. But I'm going to try and find the V-Rock, which is, again, the Hard Rock-themed casino, which the Hard Rock now no longer exists, which is a shame. I loved that place. And it's going to be rebranded the Virgin uh, Las Vegas. So this is why I'm using the Sanchez. It's a little more flexible, and I can go off-road if need be. There's the weird kind of building there, but I'm going to, I think it's down further, and the fastest way is to just go along here and kind of work my way in. 
and I think it's nearby here, Starfish Casino, eh, whatever. Um, there is the, yep, some other areas, and I think if I can get through here, that hotel on the left actually is another mission, and this is kind of all clumped together. What they did is they clumped downtown together with a lot of other things, so it's not exactly, here we are, the V-Rock. And this is the Hard Rock themed casino. Again, the Hard Rock does not exist anymore in Las Vegas. I'm guessing it would be fun if um, Rockstar redid and did a Las Venturas themed uh, game and set one of their Grand Theft Autos based in Las Venturas. That would be kind of fun. And they could update a lot of things. But this is the V-Rock, named after the radio station V-Rock. And what's cool is sometimes you can drive around these casino parking lots and find some kind of fancy different cars to jack and collect. Like that's kind of the hot rod. But let's move on. And CJ, uh, you know, like I said, I'm just riding around on the Sanchez because it gives flexibility. And down in this area, again, this is kind of like downtown Las Vegas. And I'm going to bring CJ over to this area where there's a lot of fast food. And as you can see, there are several fast food places right next to each other. Two burger shots, practically and a Cluckin Bell, but there's also a, I think, bar, yep, did that say, yeah, there's a bar here and a grocery store or 24-7 store. I think CJ's hungry, losing $5,000 tends to get a man sick, should I say, but hey, CJ's hungry and he's going to order some food. I'm proud to welcome you to Burger Shot. I told my servant, shut up or go home. Look where you're going. Munch your way to bliss, sir. Have a wonderful day. Now let's see what else is around here. I'm um, going to check out the 24-7 here. I mean, yeah, it's just like any old uh, basic uh, convenience store. And the only way you can get food is by ordering from vending machines. That's what I want. You know, GTA 5 improved and you can just order food from the guy at the counter. and over at the bar here, it's a small bar, and you got a couple of pool tables and video games for entertainment. Looks kind of like a biker bar. So, eh, kind of cheesy. Like the stuff on the walls there. And now CJ is going to continue on his uh, trip around Las Venturas. and. I'll point out a few other things possibly here, or maybe, a, yeah. Now, this area is kind of sle sleazy and seedy. Um, again, another burger shot, and then this is the area. I'm going to buy the hotel suite here, and this area looks a little more like old downtown Las Vegas, that, I think, is kind of like Binion's Horseshoe. And you got this little area where it's supposed to... Yeah, take that. Why am I punching people? Eh, whatever. But this is where it looks a little more like downtown Las Vegas took that guy out. Uh, yeah, like I said, they kind of mashed a lot of things together. And I think I'm going to take CJ around to buy some property further on down. And 
you don't need to see that. There was a house I was going to try and buy, but this is the tour of Las Venturas. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Heck, hit the dislike button. But if you like videos like this and kind of walk through gaming videos, I'm doing that primarily with GTA San Andreas. Um, subscribe. Subscribing costs nothing, and you can help the channel out. I'm trying to monetize things, and I greatly appreciate it. Well, also, hey, don't forget to stop by my website, www.barstoolentertainment.com. There's a link to it on the main page. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Going. Munch your way to bliss, sir. Have a wonderful day.